In philosophy of science, there are several definitions of protoscience. Its simplest meaning most closely reflecting its roots of proto plus science involves the earliest eras of the history of science, when the scientific method was still nascent. Thus, in the late 17th century and early 18th century, Isaac Newton contributed to the dawning sciences of chemistry and physics, even though he was also an alchemist who sought chrysopoeia in various ways including some that were unscientific. Another meaning extends this idea into the present, with protoscience being an emerging field of study which is still not completely scientific, but later becomes a proper science. An example of it would the general theory of relativity, which started being a protoscience a theoretical work which had not been tested, but later was experimentally verified and became fully scientific. Protoscience in this sense is distinguished from pseudoscience by a genuine willingness to be changed through new evidence, as opposed to having a theory that can always find a way to rationalize a predetermined belief. Philosopher of chemistry Yarp Brackel defines protoscience as, "...the study of normative criteria for the use of experimental technology in science." Thomas Kuhn said that protosciences, "...generate testable conclusions but nevertheless resemble philosophy and the arts rather than the established sciences in their developmental patterns. I think, for example, of fields like chemistry and electricity before the mid-18th century, of the study of heredity and phylogeny before the mid-19th, or of many of the social sciences today." While noting that they meet the demarcation criteria of falsifiability from Popper, he questions whether the discussion in protoscience fields result in clear-cut progress. Kuhn concluded that protoscience, like the arts and philosophy, lacks some element which, in the mature sciences, permits the more obvious forms of progress. It is not, however, anything that a methodological prescription can provide. I claim no therapy to assist the transformation of a protoscience to a science, nor do I suppose anything of this sort is to be had. The term prescientific means at root, relating to an era before science existed. For example, traditional medicine existed for thousands of years before medical science did, and thus many aspects of it can be described as prescientific. In a related but somewhat different sense, protoscientific topics such as the alchemy of Newton's day can be called prescientific, in which case the proto and pre labels can function more or less synonymously, the latter focusing more sharply on the idea that nothing but science is science. Compare fringe science, which is considered highly speculative or even strongly refuted. Some protosciences go on to become an accepted part of mainstream science. See also History of science Hypothesis List of topics characterized as pseudoscience Methodical culturalism Natural philosophy Obsolete scientific theories Pathological science